Let me show you guys really quick what kicks ass. So right behind me, I do have a kick-ass shower tent, as you guys can tell. Cool thing about this, you can shower in it, you can change in it, you can do a lot of a little love type of things in it. You can also use it as a poop room, whatever you want. This thing kicks ass, and this thing just, it sucks. That's trash now, thanks to kick ass. This thing's gonna be freaking awesome. I'm gonna love camping once again. I'm gonna love to shower out on the road, especially when their kick ass shower heater comes in. You guys, ah, I'm excited. All right, you guys, so as always, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what comes inside the package, what tools you're gonna to need, and of course, how simple it is to install because literally anybody can do this install. This shower tent does actually kick ass, literally, because it's so easy to install, it's so easy to open up, and it's so easy to close up as well. You guys will see how fast this thing opens up and closes up at the end of the video, so make sure to stay tuned. So looking right here, we have the actual shower tent in here. So this thing is awesome. You guys will see why once we open it up, and then looking right here it comes with this bag here inside the bag you're gonna get four of these stakes just in case it's super windy you can stake it down and then of course right here is gonna be the L brackets that are gonna be used to actually install onto the roof rack and then looking right here we have the hardware that it does come with I'm only gonna be using four of these screws and four of these nuts and I'll tell you guys why right now uh, the tool that we're gonna be using is a 11 millimeter socket that's gonna be super simple so since I do have a print to roof rack these screws that do come provided as far as mounting it are not gonna work for me. Only thing we are gonna be using these screws for is putting the brackets onto this awning because that it will work for. But as far as mounting it onto our printer roof rack, we actually needed to get these types of screws. As you can tell, they have like a little nut right there and these slide into the actual printer roof rack. Washers right here, these like locking nuts. As you can tell, they have the nylon in them so this will lock it down and making sure that it doesn't fall off. So it's gonna be super Super simple. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is uh, go right here in the backside. Here it has like a silver crossbar in it. You're gonna see on each end there's like a sticky. You want to open it up just like that. Open it up to release this here. And this is where we're gonna be sliding the screws in through. So what I did here is inside the baggie that does come provided, I ended up grabbing four of their screws and four of their locking nuts. We're gonna be utilizing the screws first. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the nuts down for now. So just to give you guys like a little pointer, as you can tell, this is the L bracket that comes provided. So it is an L. On one side, it has two holes. On the bottom side, it has four holes. So this is adjustable. You guys will see what I mean when we get up there uh, to install it. But basically what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be putting uh, two screws here at the top and two screws here at the bottom. So we can put a bracket here and then say a bracket there somewhere. You guys will see. So let's go ahead and start off by putting the screws. So after I have this open, the flaps. I'm gonna go ahead and slide them in. They slide right in, nothing hard about it. Two, one, two. So now that we have two up top and two at the bottom, let's go ahead and kind of line them up where we're gonna be placing the brackets. It'd be there, just like that. As you can tell, it slid right over. And we're gonna go ahead and grab two of the provided nuts. And all you wanna do here is just somewhat tighten them to where it's not gonna fall off. So as you can tell, I just hand tied in, nothing crazy, same thing. Now you guys can go ahead and close this up again over here. So put the flap down, the little one goes first, big one goes last, super clean. Now let's go ahead and uh, get up and going. Now that we have the awning set up, we're gonna go ahead and get ourselves our screws that we did buy uh, after. So I got these off of Lowe's. And like I said, if you guys do have a Prince your roof rack, you guys are gonna need to use these. I forgot what these screws are called exactly, but they're kind of flat on this side. They have like a little nut in the inside there. And then of course they're threaded. These slide into the crossbars of the Prince your roof rack. That's why you need to get these and this will secure it. So I'm gonna be using that. And then of course a washer another washer and a nut. The reason I said to leave these brackets loose, as you can tell, you're gonna need to adjust them to your specific crossbars or roof rack, whatever you guys have. So we're gonna start off with grabbing the screws. So as you can tell, on the printer roof rack, there's holes here. So those screws will literally just slide right in, as you can tell. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm just gonna be putting three on each bracket. So I'm going to be putting them probably about there. 
So off camera, what I did was install it, test it, make sure where it's gonna fit for my specific truck. So I know originally I had said I was gonna slide in three and three screws. Um, unfortunately, I can't. Once I install it, I'll get off the truck and show you guys why. But it has to do with spacing as far as when we open up the tent so it doesn't hit the actual truck. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna slide these screws all the way as much as I can before they hit the actual insert hole. So I'm only gonna be putting two. And of course on the bracket, like I was telling you guys, they are adjustable and there's four of them. Put the washer, put another washer and let's insert the two holes. And then I'm gonna grab another washer, another washer there. Let's go ahead and grab the nylon nuts. And same thing, we're gonna do this by hand for now. Now that I have that in its place, I'm gonna go ahead and now focus on this other side and we'll do the same thing. Let's tighten these bad boys down. So now that we have these four uh, set up, everything's tied down, uh, it ain't going anywhere of course. Uh, up next, what we're gonna have left over is of course uh, the nuts right here that are going to the actual awning. So if you guys do remember, I said all you needed was a size 11 millimeter socket. I messed up, I guess the ones that do come provided, those are actually a size 10 millimeter socket. As you can tell now everything's tied in this thing is not going anywhere so let's go ahead and jump down the camera over here and show you guys how it looks and of course how to open it up and close it up let's do it now now that we're off road we're going to go ahead and show you guys just exactly how easy it is to open this up all the functions that it has inside and then of course how easy it is to close it up you can do this all by yourself you don't need help with anybody because it's that easy so of course just looking at it off the bat just like this it looks freaking awesome i'll be honest with you guys i thought it might have looked funny uh, just because of the size but now that it's actually mounted onto the truck it doesn't look bad at all so you're gonna see right here at the bottom you're gonna see their zippers so you want to unzip that so it's nothing hard about that it's just like a regular backpack zipper and then inside you're gonna have two red straps one here unzip it and then another strap there and same thing take that off it's that easy and then it will come down so as you can tell it unravels on its own so you don't need any help honestly because it's that simple and then up next inside, you're gonna to wanna to bring one of these out. And then you're gonna to wanna to bring out the other rail, just like that. And then all you do is just kinda of open it up just like this. And then of course, if you guys do remember, I told you guys, it does come with stakes. So you wanna go ahead and grab those stakes right now to put it to the ground. Let me grab them and show you guys. Inside that baggie, like I told you guys, there's gonna be four stakes. You wanna go ahead and grab those. So it's gonna be super simple. So you grab the end of it. It's gonna have like a little loop there. And all you do is literally stake it to the ground. All right, you guys, so as you saw, that was super easy to open up and everything like that by yourself. You don't need anybody else. And of course, when you close this up, you can do it by yourself as well. So I've now staked it down because it is a little bit windy out here. Uh, I don't want this thing to kind of be flopping everywhere. So let's go ahead and give you guys a quick little walk around. So come right over here. So first things first, you're gonna notice all the way around, there's gonna be these black straps. So these are just gonna be to adjust. So if you need to push them up, just like that to bring this up or down, doesn't matter. You can adjust them with this. So coming right over here you're gonna notice there's gonna be a zipper so this is kind of where you get in so this is the door so we're gonna go ahead and zip it open and we're gonna climb right inside so let's do this now so of course if you're by yourself it does also have an interior zipper which I'll show you guys right now but you can zip it up from the inside as you guys can tell so if you're by yourself you don't have to worry about it so let's go ahead and climb you guys in here and show you guys a little bit around so looking right here, let me show you that zipper one more time. So as you can tell, here's the interior zipper. And now that we're enclosed, as you can tell, right here, you're gonna have a little pouch. So this pouch is so that way you guys can put like your shampoo or just whatever you guys use to go ahead and shower, of course. And then looking right over here, there's gonna be another little pouch. Uh, so you could do the same thing. And as you could tell, it's like some type of uh, waterproof material. So that's pretty awesome. I know it'll dry up pretty quick. Another cool feature that this one has is if you zip here, and unzip here when you unzip those two right there you now have access to go inside your truck so cool thing about this is say you finish up showering uh, and you have this window down or something like that um, you can go ahead and kind of reach in to grab your clothes so that way you can change so that's cool that they give you like a window access and of course these little baggies to put your stuff in so to close it back up it's same thing super easy 
You just zip it right up, just like that, nothing hard about it. And then looking right up top right here, you're gonna notice there's a little Velcro. So that's basically where your shower head would go and then you Velcro it in. So of course, right now I don't have the shower head. I actually have it at home. I'm waiting for the heater to come in. Once the heater comes in, because yes, kick ass does make an actual heater for the uh, shower unit. Uh, once that heater comes in, I'll show you guys a, a brand new video of how it works and I'll maybe shower myself in here and you guys will see. Of course, I'm not gonna show everything, but you guys will see how that works. So there it is, you guys and there is ample room in here so I mean I can stretch out just like this just like this I know on camera you're not gonna be able to see it that good but there's actually a lot of room in here uh, for you guys to shower comfortably in all honesty you can probably fit a second person like right here and you guys can still shower comfortably uh, like I said I wish I brought the shower head so I can show you guys how this part works but once you stick it on there um, basically you'd be showering this way and the water would be falling on you and yeah I mean if you guys want something like this it's gonna be in the description box below let me go back outside and give you guys a little bit more details on this so now that I showed you guys how easy it is to open up now that I showed you guys the little walk around outside and inside the cool awesome features like I said the cool feature about this it actually keeps your shower head in place so that way your hands free when you guys are showering you guys don't have to worry anything about that like I said that's gonna be in a future video when I get my water heater so that way I can show you guys the whole setup so another cool thing about this it's not only like a shower tent you can also utilize this like as a changing room Room. and if you guys don't want to do it for that you can also utilize it for maybe like your poop room uh, like for me for example I do have a portable toilet so that's also a cool little feature I can use it for I can put the toilet in there and do my business um, another thing that I did want to show you guys so of course back in the day when I would go camping and I'd need to shower I had one of these pop-up tent things whatever they are I don't even want to open it up because they're a pain to open up they're a pain to close up uh, and it's just they're flimsy they're not stable and sometimes you do need two people to kind of hold it in place while you stake it down and this thing just it sucks that's trash now thanks to kick ass this thing's gonna be freaking awesome I'm gonna love camping once again I'm gonna love to shower out on the road especially when their kick ass shower heater comes in you guys, ah, I'm excited but yeah so I hope you guys did enjoy that cool little setup let's go ahead and now show you guys how easy this thing is to actually close up and then you guys can decide if you guys want to get it like I said it's a shower tent it's a changing room it's a poop room it doesn't matter what it is it's a uh, freaking make some love in there whatever you want to do with it it, it's there so let's go ahead and show you guys how easy it is to close up let's get it by now I've already proved why you guys need a kick-ass shower tent versus all the other competitors including those little pop-up tents those are in the trash can now like I said I don't want mine anymore I'm gonna use it as campfire blow it up I don't know just have some fun with it you know maybe but I've gotten the point to you guys if you guys do want to go ahead and get yours make sure to check out the description box below I've linked it there but I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys now how easily this thing is to store away by yourself so let's get it so of course first thing you want to go ahead and do is grab your steaks I already pulled out the ones in the back. I'm just going to go ahead and grab the ones right here up front. It's going to be super simple, just like that, and just like that. So now that you get your four sticks, you want to go ahead and grab that little brown baggie where they came in, and just go ahead and put them back in. It's that simple, you guys. Nothing hard about this. There it is. So for the next step, what you're going to want to go ahead and do is first things first is you're going to want to go ahead and get this right side over here that's closest to the driver, and just go ahead and bring it in. It's that simple. Just like that. Next thing you wanna go ahead and do is now bring in the one that's closest to the back and bring that one in. It's that simple, just like that. And now make sure this thing is nice and straight. As you guys can tell, it looks good. And just grab it from the bottom. And all you literally need to do, and like I said from the beginning, this is a one man job. You do not need anybody else to help you out with this, even if it's windy or not. So look how it is. So you just literally roll this thing up, just like that. The, the more even you roll it up, the better it is when you store it away. So just keep that in mind. Right, so you just grab your red strap and put it back in how it was. Just like that. Might be a little bit hard to see on camera, I know. So just like that, strap it down. Same thing with this side. Go ahead and grab your red strap from the top and then grab the bottom one. Bring it in just like that so up next all you need to do is tuck any of the access away grab your zipper 
I do it nice and slow just so you don't tug on anything. That's why I'm taking my time with it. So if you want to go ahead and get yours, like I said, one more time, check out the description box below. This thing literally does kick ass. So far, I love it. And like I said, stay tuned for an upcoming video when I do bring out the shower head and the heating water for this thing. I'll go ahead and take a shower with it, show you guys how it works. I don't know if, hang on, let me catch my breath. Why are you so <laughs> It's cold. So yeah, so like I said, stay tuned for the future video. Uh, I'll go ahead and bring out the shower heater and I'll bring out the shower head to kind of show you guys how that works. For now, I mean, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Okay. Feel free to subscribe